crafters welcome back to crafts and coffee with chris and kel i'm kel and if you're new here welcome i hope you hang out and subscribe and like the video and check out the other videos we have on our channel if you have not seen the diary day one video please check that out first before you watch this video i will link it in the description box below as you can see, um, this is my progress, and um, we're on day 14. I do have thoughts, okay? Um, if you saw my first uh, day one uh, diary, you know some of the concerns I had receiving this canvas. Um, I've completed the first row, and I have added two uh, square crystal colors from DP with sparklers so far. Now, as I said in the first video, I didn't have any exact color matching numbers, but I did uh, switch out um, a couple numbers for, um, I did a 917 in place of Sorry, I'm looking at my notes now. So in place of number 154, I put in 917 square crystals and I use the Elizabeth Ward bead storage container for my long-term storage. And then I switched out number 501 for 964, which is this beautiful green. I love it. Okay, so this is a big canvas. It's an 80 by 80. You could see it takes up the whole width and then some of the, the length of my drafting table. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna turn on my light pad again so you can see where the light pad is in relation to the canvas. So I've been having to move the canvas from side to side as I work on it which is a pain, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so that's been okay. Um, the drills are good quality. Um, I'll show you the trash I have so far. So this is day 14's trash. Oops, oh gosh. Sorry for bumping you like that. So here's day 14's trash. Um, mostly dark colors. Basically there's holes in the top and some knobbly bits on the edges pretty much. It's not that horrible, but you know, squares are gonna have trash, so. Um, I am liking the Craftmate lockables so far. They're pretty easy to use. Um, at the end of this whole diary series, I will let you know my final thoughts and if I will continue to use them on a regular basis. So I'm gonna turn the light pad off now and... Okay, the, there is a concern I'm having as soon as I, you know, finish this row down here and I moved up and you could see I have almost all the, you know, I have all the black done till here in the second row. Um, some of the drills started popping off. And in the first video, I wasn't sure where I was going to start. Looking back, I should have started at the top left because then I could have had the bottom rolled up. But if these drills are already coming up, how am I going to continue to work on this in this way? Um, this is going to be in my lap. I mean, if it's already having problems, because, okay, let me. So the second row, I'm pretty much, this is magnetize there okay so I pretty much bring my canvas like pretty much as low as I can and 
I'm gonna zoom out so you can see, you know, the canvas is hanging off a little bit. Well, I'm finding that's where I'm having the problem with the drills come off. And just so you know, before I moved up to the second row, I did use my roller to roll, you know, press the drills on as hard as I could. Here's my roller that I use. And I rolled them, you know, I they clicked in, you know. I thought, okay, we're moving on up, you know. Um, but they started popping off and that's a concern of mine because I haven't had that issue in almost ever. Um, I predominantly work on, you know, Diamond Art Club, but even, you know, the canvases I've gotten from GBFKE, I don't have that problem. When I ordered this canvas, I did order poured glue. Um, looking back, maybe I should have done double-sided adhesive. I did reach out to Uniquely Yours Down Under. I sent them a message. So we'll see what happens. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so we'll see. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I am going, I'm planning on adding some sort of ABs or, or uh, the square crystals to the water, but it's so difficult to know where to add them beforehand. I'm thinking like the lightest colors in the waterfall and the water, I will, you know, make a crystal or something, but it's pretty difficult to do that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen the before and after picture showing, um, before I started blinging it up, this corner over here, and then after. And, um, I'll ask Chris to put those pictures up. Okay, so all of these burgundy color, I don't know if you call them burgundy, magenta, maybe? All of those are the square crystals. And basically I had put them all in for this section and then I realized, you know what, that would be a great color to bling up the canvas with, make it really pop. So I actually went back, plucked those out and then put the crystals in. And then I added these green square crystals. Um, that color or symbol started being used and I'm like, you know what, let's, let's bling that up because usually I can look at a canvas and know right away what I want to do as far as embellishments and enhancements. This one is difficult for me. And even in this corner, sorry for the shakiness. I hope you don't get motion sickness. Even in this corner, like I could make these, I guess they're orbs. Um, I can make those, you know, ABs. I may go back and do that, but I want to be consistent. And if I do it here, I need to do that throughout the canvas. Um, yeah, I actually did the black almost last in the first row. And so I decided when I started on the second row, I wanted to just do all the black. And there's actually a lot less black in this row than there was in the first row. So I'm almost done with the black. Now, even though it is day 14, I have not consistently worked on this every day. Um, some days I just haven't gotten to it, but you know, life, right? So thank you for watching. I know this is a shorter video, but I believe I have added all the, you know, necessary information. Um, and I will give, I will keep you updated on what happens with Uniquely Yours Down Under. And I honestly have no expectations or ideas of what they're going to, you know, come up with. So we will see. Thanks for watching crafters. Bye.